when you walk into the room what do you how do you identify like what what aspect of your identity defines you is it your race your age your sex your sexual preference like your your wealth i am fucking feeling hype as hell and there's a cop right there so i'm definitely not doing anything but i'm also perfectly legal I need to move out of the way. Boop, boop. Fuck. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another vloggy, vloggy vlog. And I am riding through Industry City and in, uh, whatever you call it, Industry City, Brooklyn, Red Hook, freaking doodle, doodle bug place. And I'm just kind of cooking it. I had a most amazing uh, professional development just now. Uh, basically, this was about. Uh, diversity in the workplace and diversity in my industry where I work at and just kind of like identity and stuff and usually when I uh, oh look you can see my reflection over there it's cute see it hello uh, but usually when I go to these workshops it's just a bunch of talking heads you know it's a bunch of people preaching and lecturing but this one was actually very different this was more about uh, a discussion this was more of like uh, interaction which was actually very refreshing very nice not only did I learn a lot about my co-workers I've also learned a lot about myself no well, you know but you know it's like when you walk into the room what do you how do you identify like what what aspect of your identity defines you is it your race your age your sex your sexual preference like your, your wealth, where you were born, your religion, all sorts of things. Like you walk into the room, how do you think people think about you? Do people, do you, are, do you think people see you as like this white dude? You know, it's a, it's a complicated question that is very easy to laugh at, I guess, if you're not concerned. Like me, as uh, some people presume, I'm just like a white male, you know, in America. So I have all this privilege. But most people don't realize that I was born in Moscow, poor, and my mom is like half, you know, my mom is Asian, like I'm, even though I look white, I'm actually uh, half Asian, you know, and, uh, and, I, and, and like, for example, English is my second language, so I had that barrier. So it's not all fucking black and white and fun and games, and but I also have the privilege where I've learned the language, I've got a job, my family got a job, and we all, like, you know, we look white, so there is that privilege. Um, but at the same time, I don't like to be, uh, people presume, there's a lot of presumptions that happen based on my appearance and how I carry myself, you know? But that's... It's a complicated issue. So basically, I don't even know if I'm explaining myself right now because I just had so much pizza. I had this most delicious pizza with suppressata and uh, this salad. And I had a lot of coffee, so I feel fucking crazy right now. So I'm probably not really describing what I'm trying to convey very well. But I work with a very diverse group. Like, you know, like, like I used to actually, you know, all of these workshops, they start out with you having to pronounce your pronoun. Like you go like, I identify with he, she, or him, them, and her, whatever the fuck, you know? And I used to think that was a, an awkward, awkward thing because it's like, obviously I'm a boy, so let's make fun of it, you know? It's like, but to some people, like that's the thing, people walk into the room you know, like they wake up in the morning, they walk into the room anywhere and they think about this. They're just like, I am, uh, you know, like transgender or, 
or you know a certain race religion or whatever and that cannot consume you and you know take up time and effort and energy mental and physical and privilege is being able to just not even worry about any of that you know and that's kind of uh that's kind of where i'm at you know even though like like deep down i am i am who i am but to an average person i'm just a fucking generic white dude which is kind of uh oh no i gotta zip up my jacket there we go it's interesting the whole thing is fucking interesting and then you know to switch topic yeah because you know, because I just want to talk about something fun as well. I mean, that's fun, but that's kind of a heavy. But I actually, thank you. I had such a good ride this morning on my bike. It was super aggressive and super crazy. I actually was riding like a complete jerk, you know, maybe more than the usual. Um, man, but this bike is so fun. I kind of realized that perhaps I don't need a new bike. Perhaps this is the bike I'm gonna stick with. I'm just gonna hook it up. You know, that's easier. That's easier and funner. I got a ticket over here once for illegal merging, which is kind of... Which is kind of insane. So I think I'm not gonna go on the BQE. I am fucking feeling hype as hell and there's a cop right there so I'm definitely not doing anything I'm actually gonna fall back I'm actually going to fall back because that cop knows what's going on that cop knows what's going on maybe I should go on a BQE I was gonna go local but <coughs> yeah I'm gonna go local that's fine That is okay. I just don't like Paul Paul, like, like being behind a cop. It does not spark, you know, does not spark excitement. But I'm also perfectly legal. That was actually a... a uh, that was actually a speed camera over there. What the fuck? Holy shit, did you see that? Was he pointing at me? Yeah, that's why I don't fucking go there. Because that was actually a speed camera cop. I hated that. Damn. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. There's a cop behind me and I need to I need to move out of the way. Boop. Boop. I need to move out of the way. Never going here again. There's so many cops here. So many fucking cops. Oh damn, that turn is not going the right way. Son of a bitch. <sighs> this is bad. moving that was not good my bike wouldn't start for a second there that's terrible this person turning going straight what is happening here oh sorry <sighs> this is a bad mistake I should have went on VQ why did I think I should go local 
This is just silliness. This literally makes no sense. This makes no sense. See, when the cops are around, I can't ride like a jerk. I really wish I could pop over there. But I can't. Come on, bro. <sighs> Fucking hell. Paul Paul. Look at this shit. That's cool. I guess I'll stay behind the cops, you know. The last thing you want to do is go too fast. Get a damn speeding ticket, you know. Good bananas, that cop was fucking milking it. But I don't like how my bike died out there. That was not cool. <sighs> I don't even know what I was talking about. I feel like I was all hot and hyper and uh, on the trail there. And then uh, my bike died. Look. Idols like shit. I think it is the spark plugs, but luckily I ordered new spark plugs and new spark plug wires. So that should be alright. So I'm just gonna give it a little more gas the whole time. I think that's the ticket. That's the hot ticket. Here we are, Brooklyn Heights. Almost want to go on a BQE just because, uh, because I feel like that road is going to be horrible. cannot be behind this car. <sighs> I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to get out of there. I'm feeling super anxious, riding like a total freaking jerk off. But speaking of being a jerk off, those fucking cops with a speed gun? The fuck were they doing? That was so weird. That was so weird. But, not surprising. Ah, yeah, my bike doesn't like being, uh, doesn't like being in traffic today. <laughs> Died out. So yeah, in the comments below, please tell me what you think the issue with my bike is. Because I'm actually very curious. And over here, can I turn off? Oh no, that used to be a street here. Nope, not this, that street over there. this way come on buddy Oh 
Oh my god. Oh boy. I'm just like full of freaking surprises and confusions. Bro. You're gonna turn. Here we go. Oh my God. I just want to park the bike. Lady, I know you got dogs. It's for the love of God. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, so isn't it funny how this whole vlog started out so like fucking so, so righteous and then now it just fell apart and became a, a fucking La Mesa. all good but, huh? nice dumbass son of a bitch Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for uh, all the things. Much appreciated. Big fan. I can't believe my bike stalled out so many times. I'm going to be a little bit tighter. Just like that. good oh, what a mess I'm gonna get in trouble bye bye